Now in this video, we're going to have a look at some of the different types of questions that you can find on Maths Online. So when you open a lesson, the first thing you'll come to is this video tab here. And I strongly recommend that you make sure your kids watch the video from start to finish. It's really important that they understand the concepts before they try to work their way through some questions. Now many questions have a worksheet attached to them. Now obviously we need to view the worksheet first. To do that though, we'll go over to the side here and we'll open the PDF in a new window. It just tends to be a little bit easier to work with. So we can see here, it's fairly straightforward. We've got eight questions on this particular sheet and then we've got an answer box down the bottom. Now even though it's an online program, a really important part of this process here is to make sure that your kids work through each question in their workbook or on paper, showing full working out. It's really important in mathematics that they're able to show detailed, logical, step-by-step -step working. So here's a complete set of working that I've done for this particular worksheet. Now once all the questions are finished, it's a matter of getting each of these final answers here and transferring them back to the worksheet. So once all the answers are written out, simply a matter of matching each of these answers with a letter from this answer box down here. So for question 1, we got the answer x equals 3, and we can see 3 here beside the letter b. So we'll record b beside our question 1. Now we then continue on doing the same process for all of the questions on the sheet. So now it's time to switch back to the lesson, and then we get our kids to enter their answers. So this process is simple enough. We just put the letter from our worksheet for each question into the box and then click Submit. Now we can see here we completed the lesson, which is good, but we got 87% or 7 out of the 8 questions correct. So two options here. We can either just continue on with the next lesson or we can close this and try and get that missing question right. And that's what I'd recommend you get your kids to do. So now down here we can see this question 6 has been highlighted. That's the question we got incorrect. So we need to go back to our solutions and see if the kids can work out where they went wrong themselves. So having a look at question 6 here, this first section is all fine. But when we're working this next section here, that plus sign there should actually be a minus sign, which would then change the next couple of lines of working. So back to our pen and paper, and we'll fix these few lines of working up here, giving us that final answer there of x equals 12. Now it's just a case of going back in here, correcting that answer and resubmitting. And this time we got our 100%. Now, sometimes after your kids have another go at a question, they're still not sure how to do it. So the first thing I'd recommend they do there is watch the video again, see if that helps them out. If not, we've got this option here to view solutions. Now, just like before, we'll open this in a new window. And you'll see here we've got a full set of work solutions for that worksheet. Here's the question that we went wrong, and you can see that correct working out set out for you there. Now this is an excellent method to use if you've tried those other steps first. Try correcting your own working, re-watch the video, and then if you're still stuck, you've got this model working here to refer to to help you out. Now some lessons don't lend themselves to questions that can be answered easily using multiple choice options. So in these cases we have self-marking worksheets. So having a look here, you'll see our second option. There's no end to your answers. It goes straight to view solutions. So I'll have a look at this one. And you can see that as well as having the full work solutions here, we've also got this box with a marking scale. So it tells you how much each individual question is worth, a total mark for the worksheet, and then how to convert that mark into a percentage grade. So in this case, either a parent or your kids mark the work themselves. Now, obviously, a little bit of honesty required there. Now, once the sheet's been marked, we enter our grade. In this case, we worked at it a few times, we got 100%, and then submit our mark. Now in some lessons, particularly in some of the lower year levels, we've got this option here for online questions. Now the process, once again, quite simple to follow. The question appears on the screen. And your kids can either read it out themselves or if they click on this speaker icon, the question's read out to them. Now just like before, recommend that they have some paper or a workbook handy to work their way through the question. Then once they've finished, they enter their answers online. So just to show you a few different methods of entering answers, this first one here, we're asked what is the place value of that highlighted number, and we've got a drop-down box here, so like a multi-choice question. Now the place value here is thousands. When we've entered it, we click Submit. For the second question, we're asked what's its value. No drop box here, we actually enter the answer. 
4,000 into the box using our keyboard. Once again, submit our response. Now in this lesson, the question's asking us to choose all of the quadrilaterals. We simply, using our mouse, click on all of the quadrilaterals there and then submit our answer. And then in this last example here, we're actually using a drag and drop process to help us out. So we're asked to find the length of the rectangle in pencils. You can see we've got the pencils here, so we simply drag these across until we've covered the entire length of the rectangle. Ten pencils there, so let's enter our answer and submit. Well, that covers most of the different question types you'll come across on Maths Online. Just remember, if your kids do have trouble, first of all, get them to review their own working, get them to watch the video again, and then if they're still stuck, get them to have a look at those work solutions to help them out.